going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fimes and Nosebad. Hashtag Fimes and Nosebad. Today, we've got 16 top stories to talk about. So you know what? Let's just get right into it. Starting off today's top stories with AF modding in their Land Rover Defender 90. They say that it's coming along great and only a few more details are missing. They're working hard to make this model as good as it possibly can be. They've made two different Land Rover mods for Farm Sim 19 for all platforms, and we're hoping that this is going to be one of those as well for FS22. One thing, these screenshots show FS19 and FS22 at the bottom, meaning that we could be or maybe will be getting these mods for both games, which I'm sure will make a lot of fans happy. Agri mods have their Fiat Uno, aka the Lizard Uno, sent out for testing for all platforms as of today. This is very similar to the mod that we got in FS19, just for 22 instead. They did have a boatload of customization for this in 19, but they haven't said anything about customization for 22, and at least the screenshots that we've gotten have shown very minimal customization. So for that, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Either way, a new car mod for all platforms is on its way. North Mining Company showed off a few new mods that they're working on last week, and today we get to see another one. The John Deere 968L2 Skitter, which is a six-wheeled version of the 948L2. And just like the 948, it's got quite a bit of customization, including main and wheel colors, different tires, and of course, rear duels. It was a beast when NMC released it a year ago for 19, and it's going to be a beast when we see it again for 22. Agritona is back with us today with another one. This is their John Deere CP770 Cotton Harvester, which they say is almost finished and it's in its final stages. This is slightly larger than the CP690 that we've got as base game right now, so wouldn't expect to see much difference here from that. FA978 is bringing back one of his most popular mods from FS19, which also, coincidentally enough, took FS17 by storm when it released, the Fiat Agri 18090, which had tons of downloads on both games. I'm a fan of this, and I'm sure you guys are as well. Additionally, he is bringing back the Galignani 9250 SL Round Baler. We've seen both of these before, but it's going to be really nice to see both of them returning to the franchise for players to enjoy. Smaddy's working to bring players another class tractor to play with, the Klossarian 3000 Saddle Track, which, you guessed it, we originally saw in FS19, just like everything that we've been talking about recently. This is a mod very similar to the pre-order bonus 4200 Saddle Track that many of you have now, but it's a little bit smaller, with virtually identical features. However, this tractor kind of had them first, as it's been out for a while before 22 came out. It can also be used as a normal tractor if you're looking for something like that as well. Either way, whether you're spreading slurry or plowing a field, this tractor is going to help you get the job done. 82 Studio, he's working on an auto-loading X2 attachment for the Telex Phoenix, which is getting some new sounds, by the way. But back to the auto-loading attachment, there's going to be a few different versions of this, so for things like tomatoes, lettuce, greenhouse stuff, and of course another one for consumables, groceries, anything like that, and of course another version for products like wood stacks and miscellaneous items, and of course a version for pallets and one for all of the bells. This is going to help so many players since it's going to be for all platforms. That's right, auto load everything for all platforms. It's happening. As always, you can see David modding this live over on his YouTube channel, and his next public live stream is going to be this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Custom Modding's bringing back a trailer that I know you guys are going to be really happy to see the Landall 845 AG Haul All Series. That's right, it's coming back to Farming Simulator much earlier than we thought as well. And guess what? It's already with Giants for testing! Yes! There's a few upgrades to it that we saw from 19, including sounds, tire options, license plate, and some improved lighting. There's going to be two other mods from them being sent off to Giants for testing later this week, so stay tuned for that announcement. Are you ready to use some new and different equipment on your farms? Well, Universe Sim Modding might have the pack for you. They're bringing over a handful of different trailers and tools for players to use for their farms called the Pwns Pack. It's a pack of eight tools for all platforms shown here. From left to right, we've got a smaller and larger animal trailers, a low loader, a small trailer for UTVs, pickup trucks, things like that, three different bell trailers. The largest has auto loading. I'm not sure about the other ones. And the last one on the far right hand side that we have being a small little seed tender that we showed off last week. They can be pulled by four wheelers and things like that. This pack is sure to help spice up your gameplay with some much different equipment and tools than you guys are used to seeing and used to using. Yes, they are quite European in styling, but they can be used on any map that you're playing on. The only thing that's going to stop you is you. JHHG Monty is adding Lankota Stock Stompers with true working effects on his John Deere 6 and 712C and 6 and 716C corn heads. Depending on the configuration that you choose, yep, they're going to be customizable with either the two row or four row stompers, things like that, that area of corn harvest will be left without the corn stalks. There's going to be available in two, four, six, and 12 row configurations on the 12C 
and two, four, six, and 16 row configurations on the 16C head. This is going to be a really cool new feature which players have been asking for for a while now, and the wait is almost over. Dutch Inc. shows off their next mod for FS22, the Duport PTW125. This was a mod that they released in FS19, however, it was for PC only then. So I imagine it could be the same for FS22. However, they did try to get this on consoles beforehand, and they said they would be trying to get it on all platforms as well later on. So maybe they have a trick up their sleeve. Hope so. Puma 145's got a handful of mods that will hopefully soon be available for all platforms. They're bringing back their very popular manure dealer pack as well as their slurry dealer pack, both from Farm Sim 19. They're also working on a few water purchase points as well, and all of these mods are with Giants right now for testing. Puma does say that they were submitted 10 days ago on December 3rd, so the wait time appears to be either much longer than originally thought on all mods, or maybe he just hasn't updated this to the current status. Either way, I'll keep you guys updated. Black Sheep Modding have some more new screenshots of their first map for FS22, the Old Stream Farm, which I know lots of you guys are ready to see. Here's some shots of the progress being made, and they say a few things could still change, so keep that in mind. The buildings that you see will be placeable, so you can delete certain sections if you want to, or you could possibly even build on to matching buildings. That would be pretty sweet. The old stream farm has been a staple for many players and mod folders for years now. Players of FarmSim22 don't have to wait very long to get their hands on this one either as it's almost done. Oh yeah, it's for all platforms as well. You guys remember, this was the map that I did that like hardcore hard mode challenge on. Though it didn't turn out very well. I was very bad at that. Maybe I should bring it back on this map once it's out. Peter716 brings us more new information on his first map for FS22, Greenlands. He's also talking about the main farm here as well, saying that it is finished and it looks different from FS19. That's because a lot of the textures on the models from FS19 were messed up uh, when 22 trying to convert everything and it would have taken too much time and work to get it all back to FS22 standard. So, all the buildings in the main yard are from the FS22 base game. He says he's very impressed with the results, so keep that in mind. I'm sure you guys will be as well. The layout, however, is very much the same as 19, so it will be very familiar to players that know the map very well. NLD Modding came out and shocked the community over the weekend with some screenshots of Green River 2022. This was a super popular map in FS17 and FS19, with a few different versions actually being available for players of 19. Though it's got some of the base game buildings around it, it still looks very familiar from what we're used to seeing on this map. This was one of the maps that I tried to do that logging challenge on 19. If you guys remember that, hey, maybe I'll bring that one back too. Who knows? But one thing that I do know is lastly today, Oxygen David has added the real life horse trailed area to his version of Comston Farm. He's added a few extra bits that are not in there in real life, like the stable and pasture, as well as the training field to train your horses and have some fun doing it. He says that you may even spot a few deer while you're out there, so keep an eye out. Progress is being made very quickly on this map, and I'm excited to see the final result. I know you guys are too. I know that the original plan for this was to get it out before Christmas, or at least get it to testing before Christmas. Um, but since Giants are going to be on, going on break soon, I think they're going on break like next week. I'm not sure if we're going to see this before then or not. Either way, stay tuned as I'm going to be bringing you updated information on this map and everything else that we talked about in future videos. And yeah, this was the segue to the outro. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of this project. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of those daily videos, mods and possibly news may slow down a little bit as Giants are going to be going on break very, very soon. With that means maybe no mods and a lot less news than you would expect to see. So what am I going to be doing? Well, we're going to be doing some more how-to videos to help you guys out with FS22 a little bit. And we're going to be doing more Let's Plays. Hopefully daily Let's Plays. Find out. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace. I don't know if you drink G Fuel or not, but the new PewDiePie cup is fresh.